Suppose we need to find the vertex of the given function and we need to sketch its graph. This is a quadratic function. Recall that in general the equation of this function looks like this. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In our case a is equal to 2, b equals 4 and c equals 2. c equals 2 is the y-intercept of the parabola so we can right away mark it right here. A is greater than zero and this means that the branches of our parabola go upwards. Now let's find the vertex of the parabola. We have the special formula for the x coordinate of the vertex. It looks like this. x zero equals negative b over 2a. In our case this is equal to negative 4 over 2 times 2, which gives us negative 1. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we need to plug in x0 into the equation. And y0 is equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 2 and equals 0. So the vertex is lying at the point negative 1, 0. We can also mark it on the graph. It is right here, negative 1, 0. Now we need to find the x-intercepts of our parabola. But we know that our vertex is lying at the x-axis and we know that the branches of our parabola go upwards because a is greater than zero. Now we can conclude that the whole parabola is above the x-axis except the vertex of the parabola. So there are no x-intercepts. And now we need to find a few more points to properly build our parabola. Let's say calculate y for 1 and y for negative 2. y of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 2 and this is equal to 8. And y of negative 2 equals 2 times negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 2 and equals 2. So let's mark these two new points for our graph. One point is right here, negative 2 comma 2. And the other is right here, 1 comma 8. Now we have enough points and we can connect them to find the graph of our parabola. Let's do this. So this is the look of our parabola.